everyone, welcome back to Cowabunga Corner. In this episode, I am going over the aftermath of Shell Shock. Yes, Shell Shock was an event we covered right here in Cowabunga Corner last season where they opened up an awesome Ninja Turtle thrill ride over at Mall of America and Nickelodeon Universe. And I am very excited to say that it did not end right there. They did the full thing that we showed last time, and that took maybe an hour or so. And now, we get to hear what the fans said. We get to see what happened after that, because Calabunga Corners crew stuck around for the entire day at Mall of America. We didn't just leave, so check out what we did at Mall of America for Ninja Turtles Day of opening up the Shell Shock Thrill Ride. Take a walking around the mall, but to see everyone in a group, it's going to be really interesting and exciting. What we are actually doing is showing that they are doing photos with the Ninja Turtles here at the Mall of America, and this is for today only, but the Turtles will be back in fall and become a regular character for people to be able to show up and get their photos with. This is our first look at the new Nickelodeon characters. So it's been a fantastic time. We've had a lot of fun.
shared through uh, Facebook. There was a link on Facebook, and I actually liked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle page, and then they had a link on their Facebook page, and then that's when I, I decided to add you, Michelle Ivy, as a friend. And then I saw that you were trending, so I was like, hey, why not? Let's come, you know, let's come up here and, you know, break the record. Oh, the 1980s cartoons, of course. The original, I guess, would be the original. The 1980s, because that's where, um, well, I was, I was a 1980s baby. So I grew up watching the original cartoons and, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see that, you know, they're still keeping, you know, they're still trying to keep them going, you know? Um, I've seen new, like, it's not the first time they tried to remake it. It's not the first attempt, I know. But you can, and you can never, you can never beat the classic. You know, the classic's always gonna be the classic. The original, you can never, you know, compare anything to the original. You know, I just think it's gonna. I mean, it, it, it's, it's they can try, but I just think that original is gonna remain an original. Um, this is tough, so I guess I'm gonna be to Michelangelo, of course, all the way. I had three brothers, so we each adapted to a character, and I was Michelangelo, so it kind of stuck, stuck to me. We traveled eight, um, seven and a half hours. We came all the way from Chicago. Yeah, so we were really early. Six in the morning. Oh, it was awesome. You know, the fact that, like I said, it's still going on, you know, I, I think it, you know, I just brought my, little, my daughter, you know, try to keep, you know, the turtle in the family, keep, you know, the turtle interest keep, keep on growing, you know? So I think it was awesome that they, um, they decided to host this event, you know, break the world record. So, pretty cool. I know, I thought, I thought we were gonna break it. I knew we were gonna break it. I simply think it's cool that everybody came out and Calabanga. you guys all enjoyed that video footage of uh, Universal Mall, and I hope that everyone gets a chance to actually go there, see the Ninja Turtle merchandise that they have, ride the Shell Shock ride, get your pictures taken with the turtles, enjoy what they have to offer for us turtle fans. Now, if you guys missed it, last summer, there was a Ninja Turtle summer at Mall of America. They did free tattoos, free buttons, free uh, t chances to meet the animators from the Nickelodeon series. They did contests like eating pizza or how many times could you spin yourself on the ride. So there's so much to look forward to with Nickelodeon Universe. Make sure to check out their website for any upcoming events. There might be another Ninja Turtle event that you may be able to make it to or we might be able to cover here on Cowabunga Corner. I hope everyone enjoys what we do bring, and we look forward to bringing so much more, because Nickelodeon Universe, you guys rock. <laughs> now, next time on Cowabunga Corner, we have an interview with a guy who made Ninja Turtles as we know them today. No, not Kevin, and not Peter. We're talking about the person who introduced the turtles to pizza, the word Cowabunga, helped with the color bandanas and everything, made the original cartoon series something that we all remember and enjoy. So we're going to interview Mr. David Wise, who helped bring Ninja Turtle to our life. Because if it wasn't for that original tune, I know I wouldn't be sitting here right now. And his writing styles helped make that show as enjoyable as it is. We'll see you next time here on Cowabunga Corner.
Hi, I'm David Wise. I developed uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for television. Uh, I wrote the original five-part pilot, and I wrote uh, something like a hundred episodes of the original series. And I will be on Cal. Oh, I see. I screwed it up. All right, let's do it again. Roll it back. Roll it back. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Wise. I developed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for television back in 1987. Uh, wrote the five-part pilot. Uh, wrote uh, 80 or more scripts of the original series and story edited a whole passel beyond that uh, over the course of nine years. Uh, and you're watching Cowabunga Corner, and I'm going to be on next week. Not right now. I am not on now. But next week, I will be on.